Hello, everybody. I'm Mike from the Rewatch Project with Hannah and Mike podcast, and I am back with another one of these live music performance reactions. And we are back in the world of Elvis Presley with a 1956, a very early uh, television performance of Hound Dog from the Milton Mel Show. So we're looking forward to going back to the very beginning here with Elvis and seeing uh, how he became the cultural phenomenon that he was. Uh, before I do that, quick reminder that I do stop the video. I do talk over it. Uh, that's what I do. That's just how it is. Uh, and also a quick reminder to check out all of the other content on this channel, including the Rewatch Project of Hannah and Mike Audio podcast, as well as some of the other film, TV, music and pop culture goodness that's on this channel. Enough of that, though. Let's watch some Elvis Presley. You get them, you understand? You'll get the whole thing. Now, everybody will stand in line. That was a little bit of business before the performance. What are you doing? I was a young man. If you want an autograph, will you stand in the back there? Uh-uh. I don't care who you are. Everybody wants... Uh, I'm, 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 I'm Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley! <laughs> <laughs> So he was already uh, kind of a known figure at this point, uh, judging by the kind of hysteria that they're riffing on. Uh, and obviously already very comfortable in front of the camera. You know, you can see him here. He's, um, you know, he's a young guy. He's, what, he's 19, 20 years old, something like that. And uh, yeah, seems very, very comfortable in front of the camera here already. Give me the good old Rudy Valley days. It's going to stop there for a moment. I mean, this is the the iconic Elvis, isn't it? I mean, I know you've got you've got Vegas Elvis. But this is the jukebox hero Elvis. This is when you see James Dean and Marilyn Monroe and Elvis. This is the Elvis that you see with that microphone and the suit jacket and in his prime and just, you know, beautiful. It's uh, really incredible. And of course, Hound Dog, I mean, you know, that's this is the quintessential known Elvis Presley performance. So uh, this must have been something at the time. If there's anybody um, who saw this when it was first on, please comment and let me know what that was like and what that was not just on a personal level but culturally i mean this must have been something but uh we're gonna go back to the beginning of the performance here i think small band the physicality there I had no idea this performance of Hound Dog was going to cause such a row. The critics jumped all over me for it. <laughs> I still can't figure out what got them so riled. Oh, wow. <laughs> One of the things that's really interesting going back and watching these performances isn't just the music and the man and the band and the performance. It's the audiences because what you hear is you hear hysteria and laughter. And I don't think it's that they think he's funny or that they're mocking him. I just think that sometimes we don't know how to react to something truly new or truly unexpected, or truly shocking. And the only reaction we have left is laughter. You see it um, in horror movies. This might seem like a strange comparison, but you often, when something really horrifying happens in a horror film, sometimes audiences laugh. Um, you see people on roller coasters laughing and giddy because it's all we know how to do. And this must have been so fresh and so new that as a culture, 
there was no frame of reference about how we react. Do we applaud? Do we shout? Do we scream? Do we laugh? You know, it's just the audio. It's so revolutionary that the hysteria of the audiences is as much one of confusion as it is approval and love and all these things mixed in. The other thing here, of course, as well as the performance, the fact that he changes tempo, and it really does add a sexual element to the performance because it's slowed down and Elvis is using his physicality. And this is by far the most broadly physical performance I've seen of his. I mean, you see stuff here that you'd see done later by people like James Brown and Prince and Michael Jackson even. You know, the way he's using the microphone and working the stage and performing and dancing really is the whole package. This is the modern rock star being born and to an audience sitting down and watching the Milton Berle show. And credit to Milton Berle. I mean, I, I don't know anything about this guy. We never had this show on TV in England where I grew up, and it was very much before my, my time. But, you know, he just seems like somebody who's an older guy, but he's going with it and having fun with it, and you've got to respect that. But, yeah, I can only imagine what this must have been like for audiences at the time. Go back a little bit. Wow. Slowing it down makes it so much more transgressive sounding. It's even laughter in the audience. They just don't know what to do with themselves. Stance of the guitar, 12 bar blues. You hear Milton Bell's orchestra. There is no room in this city for the vulgar performances of Elvis Presley. Yes, there is, mate. <laughs> you will see. There certainly is. Uh, wow. I mean, that's something being born, isn't it? That is um, like the atom being split. It's just something that's happened, and it explodes outwards and has momentum, and it can never be contained or forgotten. And how wonderful that that's documented for us to see now. So, uh yeah, you can really see what all the fuss was about. I love those 70s performances because of just the power of, of his vocals and the size of the band. But seeing him here as a young man just out there on adrenaline and instinct and charisma and talent really is something else. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to getting back to these. Quick reminder, do you like comments? So please do let me know what you think of these videos and come up with other suggestions for things to look at moving forward. And also do check out all of the other content on this channel. And please do like and subscribe and set your alerts. And I'll be back very soon. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>